Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we're going to keep going on Business Central. Uh, Business Central is just it's just it, you know. Um, it connects to everything in the cloud. Uh, it's it's uh, it's new. It does everything NAV does. Uh, you can modify it. So we really like it. Um, one thing that we got to think about when we're doing Business Central or, or working with Business Central that it's not just the ERP system. It's the entire cloud that we're working with right now. The whole Azure stack, uh, Office 365, everything. <clears throat> That's why I'm kind of doing a lot of like these boundary things because uh, we have to start thinking more out of the box, um, out of NAV, so to speak. So um, basically what I'm going to do now is uh, keep going on Power BI with uh, Business Central. So down here we have some Power BI reports and I know we activated that in one of the um, videos and all that. But I'd like to see something, uh, always wanted to put this report down here and do it easily. Uh, we like to see actual sales versus budgeted sales. Like how much did we really sell, you know, uh, compared to what we wanted to sell. And uh, in NAV, uh, we have something called item budgets. So I know it's uh, actually sales budgets. Um, and Sales budget, I know it has to do with sales, uh, but in, in reality, the best thing about sales budget is that it has to do with the actual inventory, like is sales of inventory. So you can put in the budgeted quantity, how much you wanted to sell, how you know what amount you were thinking about getting for it, also what cost you have. And as you can see here, I've put in uh, two amounts for the Athens desk and the Paris uh, guest chair. And just to give some examples, and the idea that I have is I want to then extract this data into a Power BI report, also extract the actual data that we have and show that side by side. I think Power BI is the way to show it. Um, you know, we can do a lot of things with it in Power BI. Obviously, you could probably see it here in the report, but it's more static, not, not as much fun. So, so let's go with Power BI. All right, so I actually, if I go and drill into this number here, I get something called item budget entries. Um, and here you can see sort of the history of what I've been entering in. And you just, I actually put this at 49.5 and then I changed it to 50. And uh, it's so you add this up together, you get 50. In any case, from like a database management standpoint, this is if you sum up the sales amount here for this item for this day or this date range, that's the budget. So sort of a little technical, but I hope you get it. Um, all right, so we close this out. Uh, and the reason why I'm talking about that is because we want to expose that uh, page that I just drilled into to Power BI. And how do we do that? We actually just go into web services. And I hope you're not scared of this table, web services, really simple table. Uh, and they should really just hide these strings here because it's with uh, with Business Central, you really don't need them. I mean, you can show them if you need them, but you don't need them. Um, they look uh, scary. All right, so if you actually uh, go in here, and I'm going to scroll up a little bit, um, I have exposed the item budget entries, right? So this is what I want to drag, or the data in here, I want to drag it into Power BI. I call it IBE, uh, and I published it, it's right here. And uh, it creates this string here that I have nothing to do with uh, because I'm just going to connect straight to the cloud with my username and that's it, right? Okay, so we also have uh, the item card exposed that was exposed before and I have item ledger entries somewhere down there exposed. Um, so those are the three tables that I need. So I'm going to jump a little bit into Power BI. Boom. Okay. Now. I can just go ahead and say get data. I can type in business central and then click on this and log in and I get my tables. I've already done this because this does a little bit of uh, 
like there's a wait time when it's getting all the tables and all that so i'm gonna skip that and in here i have the tables i have the item card i have the item ledger entries and item budget entry so i've gotten all of that basically into my um, power bi now why do i need the item cards I, I know why i need the item budget entries because that gives me all of the uh estimated sales or budgeted sales i know i need the item ledger entries because those have the actual sales why do i need the item card but the item card the reason why you need that is because you need to connect these two so you can't connect those two together because that would be a many-to-many -many relationship and it's just messy so you have to connect it both to the item card okay so i'm going to show you how to do that you can actually just go here into uh this screen over here that manages relationships and click on the button that says manage relationships Woo. um and hit new and in here you can actually just select the item card number and then here the item budget entries and the item number hit okay and i've connected now the item card to the item budget entries now i also want to connect the item card to the item ledger entries number on the number so let me see like that all right uh, now i'll hit close and i've actually connected two together so the item card is connected to both the item budget entries and the item ledger entries all right now it's happy well what does this give us this gives us the ability to actually go here into our uh, presentation view or visualization view and just start picking things so i can go here into the item card uh, and i want to show the number because we think the number is important uh, and i want to see the let me see the description like so all right this everybody should be able to do this this is easy but how about this uh, I want the sales amount. This is the budgeted amount. All right. And then I want the actual amount. So I can just go in here and get the actual amount. And since I connected it together, it already knows. So we are like uh, under budget on the Paris guests here and uh, way above budget on the Athens desk. The Athens desk is a good seller. That's great. Okay, so now I want to just throw this onto Business Central. So let me just go ahead and actually, um, let me see. We want to basically maybe do some formatting to this. So, um, because one of the things that happens is when you actually move this into uh, Business Central, do this um, is that the uh, the fields become really small so I'm gonna just do this like that maybe I went a little bit crazy on the other one so let's uh, let's going a little bit ad hoc here do like this have it the same um, maybe we'll go up to 20. Oh, that's too much. All right, you're going to see in a bit why I'm doing this. <laughs> but you can actually format this any way you want. Uh, I could, of course, change the name over here if I wanted to. I do a lot of things, but, you know, I'd be wasting your time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and publish. Um, and which, yes actually let me just go ahead and save this first as test three as you can see i've been doing some tests <laughs> and i publish uh into my workspace that's fine and now it's actually taking this information and throwing it back to the cloud and it's going to be on my power bi uh workspace so that is pretty quick so um, let me just go ahead and go into Power BI and see if we got the test three. Test three is there. Now I'm in the cloud. 
and I see my uh, little screen here. Now this is very good. This is promising. Let's go ahead and see if it actually came into the Power BI screen. Yeah, look at that. Test three. I enable that. Just hit OK. And what happens? I get the screen. So now you maybe get why I'm making this so big on the other side, because this is actually quite small here, but it's readable. Um, so you have to kind of work with the sizes of things. But this is how you actually can do uh, actual to estimated sales, um, which is really cool. And uh, but I don't know if you noticed it, but there is no time frame in here, right? This, uh, of course, the item budget could have had some time time frame installed in it, so and we would be filtering on that. But maybe for the next video, we'll actually figure out how to do the time frame. All right, that was a really long one. I hope you got something out of it. Very cool as well. I hope you liked it too. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until later.